the anatomy of the neuron. It shows some of the components, not the entire neuron. It's cut off here. The axon is cut in half. And you don't see the axon terminal branches or the telodendria. What you do see is the cell body. You do see the dendrites, or at least part of them, coming off of the cell body. And you do see the axon. This is one model. We also have this one. It is also a multipolar neuron. Can't tilt it up too much or it'll fall apart. But here we see, same thing, axons cut off, cell body, dendrites sticking off. This is a cover that comes off to show you the organelles and the nucleus and different things inside. So let's talk about the components of this. Main areas, cell body, the white thing sticking off the cell body are dendrites. This long thing is the axon. This area here, where the axon meets the cell body, this is known as the axon hyaline. Now what are these things, these rubber things, these gummy bears sticking off of the, the dendrites? The dendrites receive information. The axon transmits the information. These, believe it or not, are the telodendria of another axon synapsing with this neuron. These are the telodendria. And if you look at them closely, you'll see that the telodendria are swollen at the very end. It's called the synaptic end bulb, the end bulb, different things. The little bulbous swollen end. The telodendria end in a little swollen bulb. And what's contained within that bulb? Neurotransmitters stored in vesicles because neurotransmitters will transmit the signal from one neuron to the next neuron. Just like the neuromuscular junction, the neurotransmitter, the acetylcholine, transmitted the signal from the nerve to the muscle. Same situation here, nerve to nerve. From well, neuron to neuron, not nerve to nerve. In the case of neurons, it's called the synapse. So these are telodendria of a different axon synapsing with this neuron with the dendrites of the neuron. Inside here, you have your normal stuff, nucleus, rough end deposit reticulum known as missile body. You've got some uh, red stuff, Golgi. You've got some red things that look like Jolly Ranchers. Those are probably mitochondria. You've got little yellow things in there, some type of vesicle. You have your axon hyalic, and then the axon is this thing down the center, this white thing, orange, and then white again. That's the actual axon. You have the yellow stuff around it. We haven't talked about this yet. Okay, but this is known as the, the myelin sheet. That's what they want. Edit that out. Take that out. Quick. Yeah. Can't do it. <laughs> so anyway, the axon, you know, sleep. the axon, the true axon, is surrounded in what's known as myelin. Okay, myelin is a chemical that's made by a cell that coats and protects the axon. We're going to do this in lecture, so don't panic. This is the cell that makes the myelin. Notice this pink thing here? That is the nucleus of the living cell that makes the myelin. What you have here is cells living on a cell. You have individual cells 
living on the axon of the neuron. It's like a symbiosis. These are known as the Schwann cells or the neural lemocytes. Schwann cells or neural lemocytes. It's one of the six neuroglial cells, which we haven't talked about. The purpose of the Schwann cell is to make myelin, so it coats and protects the axon. And in this model, we have one, two, three Schwann cells. There are many Schwann cells along the length of the axon. And each one is responsible for its little segment, making myelin to protect and coat the axon. So that's the nucleus of the Schwann cell. This whole thing is a Schwann cell. The ridges, the layers inside, are the myelin sheets. The myelin made by the Schwann cell. And it's put on in layers, many, 15, 20, 100 layers wrapped around the axon. In between, where one Schwann cell meets another Schwann cell, is called the node, internode, or node of Ranvier. Okay. That's where one Schwann cell meets another. And what is this gray stuff wrapped around the individual neurons? This was a neuron in a peripheral nerve from that picture I had. What is the connective tissue that wraps around the neuron? This is the endoneurium. Endoneurium. Each neuron is wrapped in connective tissue. Then you take many of these into a fascicle and you wrap that in perineurium. And then you take all the fascicles and put it into nerve epineurium. So that's your endoneurium. The Schwann cells are under that? Right. There's your Schwann cells. And here you can see the axon goes down the center of the myelin. fits into here. This would be the initial segment of the axon, where the axon begins. It's an unmyelinated up there. The axon here like is this orange where it actually attaches to the body. Yeah. The first segment is the initial segment, and then you see this is the beginning of the, the Schwann cells. You have your organelles, you have your dendrites, you have your telodendria. If I put a sticker or say the number of the thing, you name the thing. If I put a sticker here, or it's got a letter A, if I put a sticker here, what are you going to call this? Cell body, hopefully. If I put a sticker on here, what are you going to call this? Dendrite. If I put a sticker on here, you're going to call it telodendria. I put a sticker here on the orange, you're going to call it axon. If I put it here on the ridges, myelin sheet. If I put it here on the pink, nucleus of the schwann cell. If I put it here on the cell, schwann cell. If I put it here on the node, node. Right. If I put it here on the gray, endonorium. Okay, you're getting it. Same thing applies, you know, with this guy. The colors are different, but it's the same idea. Endonorium. Here the white and the brown, that's the axon. Here's the hyaline. Same thing here. These green things sticking off, those are the dendrites. These little orange things are the swollen end bulbs of the telodendria. Here you see a nucleus. You see some neural fibrils. You don't see any other organelles. Here the gray is the myelin. And the little orange is the nucleus of the Schwann cell. And this green thing is the Schwann cell. And here's a node. 